Hello everyone, my name is Our Trooper and welcome back to a, another video. Today I'm showing you guys how to set up and build a 5M server in 2025. Let's go right into it, it's going to be super quick and easy. What you guys are going to want to do, hit the first link down in the description below. That ring goes right here to the 5M builds files. All you guys are going to want to do, ignore this bit at the top, the latest recommended and the latest optional that hasn't been updated for years. Skip that and just click the top one right here that is blue at the time of watching the video. Once it's done, it's going to download as a zip file. Open that up using any zip file opener, so WinRAR 7 zip, or you could just double click it in Windows and it will open the zip file up, then just drag and drop it onto your desktop. But once we've done this, we're going to minimize to our desktop, right click, new folder, we're going to call it 5M server. Once you guys have done that, open it on up. We're going to create another folder in here and we're going to call it server files. Open that folder on up, and here is where we're going to drag and drop all of our server files into. So, Control A to select them all, and simply drag and drop across. Once this is done, we can close the zip on down. We no longer need it, so just close it on down. Come back to the folder we just made, and then the server files folder, and scroll on down until you guys find this guy right here, the red icon, and it says fxserver.exe. This is how we're going to launch and set up our 5M server for the first time. So just double click it. It might pop up saying that it's protected your PC. Just click more info and then run anyway. Once you guys have done this, wait for it to open the panel and then automatically boot up your browser with a page called TXAdmin. Just like that. There you guys go. It's going to bring you to the TXAdmin page, which is basically where we manage our server from. It's going to automatically fill the code if it doesn't. Then you guys can just grab the code from here and just copy and paste it in. Click link account. And from here, it's going to ask you to sign in to your cfx.re account. I'm already signed into mine. If you guys are not, you just simply create an account, hit continue, and then you can sign in. Once you guys have done that, click continue. Make yourself a password. Just do anything as long as you guys remember it. That's the key thing because you can log into it without your cfx.re account with this, just in case you got logged out. Once you guys have done that, read and agree to the rules and click register. From here, we're going to hit next. And in the server name, literally type whatever you want. It doesn't have to match the name of your server folder. It could be anything you want. So I'm just going to do HTN video. And then we're going to do next. And for deployment type, we're going to go into popular recipes. CFX default is what we're going to select. I'm going to do a later video on the Cubicore framework. And that is a little bit more complicated. But if you guys are setting up a 5M server for the first time, I recommend doing this one right here. Click CFX default 5M. Do not mess with this at all and just hit save. Go to recipe deployer. We're going to hit next. And here we're going to need to grab ourselves a key. Pretty simple. We're going to hit the green little hyperlink right here. It's going to take us to Keymaster. Verify that you're a human. And then sign in again to your CFX.re account. You guys can see I already have a bunch of keys. So for the sake of the video, I'm just going to clear one. You guys will probably have none. So if you have none, just come on over to the left here and click new server. Display name, again, anything you want. It doesn't actually have to match the name of the server we just did in TX admin. It really doesn't matter. As it says, it's just for your own records. Hit I'm not a robot and generate a key. Once you guys have done that, just click copy, come back on over to TX admin and paste the key on in. This video is sponsored by my new website, HTNetwork.1, your one-stop shop for all your 5M server needs. We offer 5M server hosting to make sure you guys can keep your 5M server running 24-7 and not put your IP address on display for the public to see. And we also offer pre-built 5M server packages where using the exclusive HTNetwork application, you can make a fully modded 5M server with 120 plus mods in just one click. You can check all of that out down in the description below by using the link www.htnetwork.1. It's really simple from here on out. We're just going to hit run recipe. From here, it's going to automatically set up and install the rest of the 5M server for you. It'll automatically pop up with your 5M server folder that's been completed. We're just going to close that on down since we don't need it. And then we're going to hit next on TX admin. Here, it's going to present you with your server.cfg, which is essentially a simple way to put it, a file which is your settings for your 5M server. So you can edit the name right here. The server description, you can edit the tags that it has. Don't mess with these here. Obviously, you can also edit the host name. And then the key is already here, but if you ever need to change it, you can just double click in the middle and copy and paste in your key in between these two quotes. Here, you can edit the player slots and the rest of this we don't really need to worry about for now. But make sure you guys do subscribe and turn on that notification bell since I will be showing you guys how to mod 
your five and server in the next upcoming videos. So now as we've done this, we're just going to hit save and run server. And there you guys go. We have now actually fully set up a 5M server and we are good to go and join it. So I'm going to show you guys how to join your 5M server. So of course, we're going to want to search on our PC for 5M, hit open and let it start on up like normal. Once you have loaded into the 5M menus, if you guys are running it on your own PC, then you guys will see a little option appear under play or by here somewhere saying connect to server via LAN. And you can straight away connect to your 5M server since it's automatically detected it running on your own PC. But for me, I set it up using a HD network VPS. So to join that, I'm just going to press F8. I'm going to type connect. I'm going to paste in the IP of my VPS. But if you guys didn't have the option to connect with local host and it is running on your own PC, instead of doing connect and then your IP address, just do connect and then local host. And that will also join you to your server. But for me, obviously, it's going to be my VPS IP. I'm going to hit enter. And there you guys go. We started connecting to our 5M server. We're going to load in. We obviously have a basic 5M server at the minute, but my upcoming videos will show you guys how to do it. So I hope you guys did find this video useful. If you did, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And be sure to comment down below what video you guys want to see next. And be sure to check out my website, hcnetwork.1, where you guys can set up a fully modded 5M server in literally just one click with over 120 plus mods. And you can get 5M server hosting, which is what I was using in this video with that VPS. But other than that, I'll see all of you guys in the next video. Cheers and goodbye.